What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now today is going to be a pretty good day, but at the same time a pretty bad day as well because we are finally going to see Dr. Disrespect's brand new video game called Dead Drop. Now, this game to a lot of people was going to be a beacon of hope for the FPS genre. For a lot of people out there, we know that FPS games have been getting absolutely butchered by their creators. You know, all the publishers out there, regardless if it's EA, Activision, it doesn't matter who they are, the control they have over these development teams is just absurd. And some of our favorite franchises, like Call of Duty or Battlefield, are completely going downhill, all because of the lack of incompetence of these publishers. And here we are, with Dr. Disrespect, coming out and openly saying that he's tired of how the franchises are being handled, saying that he has tons of disposable cash to go ahead and throw into his own development team, and on top of that, he is hiring some of the best OG developers from the classic Call of Duty days, and more. So I gotta be honest with you, after watching some of my favorite franchises, games like Call of Duty and Battlefield, getting completely butchered, not only by the developers, but also by the publishers, the top dogs, commanding these developers to do these horrifying things within their games. You know, after watching all of my favorites go down into the dirt, to see an individual, you know, not a corporation, not a publisher, not a group of developers who are working under someone, no, an individual come out and say that they are tired of the current times that we are living in with the gaming, and they are going to go and put forth all their effort into trying to change the current trends of gaming. You know, an individual who has the money to be able to back up his words, an individual who is hiring some of the top dogs that we know from the gaming scene, it's hard not to go ahead and believe Dr. Disrespect with what he has to say. You know, it almost seems too good to be true. And sadly, it kind of is too good to be true. Now, again, this is extremely early on in development. But something that I've learned a long time ago is that when people overhype something ahead of time, usually it's to finesse the community. If you take a second and look at this tweet right here, Dr. Disrespect says, I can take a screenshot right now. Blows out anything from COD Engine. Just wait until next month. And obviously, the footage that you guys are watching right now is obviously come out next month. This is exactly what Dr. Disrespect was talking about. And this is not the only tweet that he has put out over hyping this game. There's an endless amount of tweets, an endless amount of content of Dr. Disrespect going and trying to hype up this game. And again, I want to make it very clear that I understand that this man is playing a personality. He's him times 10. Obviously, he has to kick it up a notch. But when it comes to game development, you are now in a completely different field. And you would think that, you know, someone, Dr. Disrespect, who has worked in this field before, he is not new when it comes to game development. I'm pretty sure he used to be a map designer back in the day. So he knows what game development is all about. He knows that saying stuff like this, honestly, in my personal opinion, is completely inappropriate if you're just doing it to hype up the crowd and you don't have anything to go ahead and back it up. And everybody who is defending this, saying that it's just his personality, once again, I'm going to say it, this has nothing to do with a YouTube or Twitch, a streamer personality, nothing of that sort. We are now stepping away from streaming. We are now stepping away from making YouTube content, and we're now stepping into being a video game designer. You have to come out of that streaming, you know, personality mindset and now step into the shoes like you did back in the day of a game developer because with all honesty the one thing that you do not want your community to think of you when you are a game designer is a joke you don't want people to think of your development team you don't want people to think of your publisher you don't want people to think of your game as a joke now, when it comes to his personality, that's fine. That's a part of his charm. That's why people subscribe to him. That's why people donate to them. You know, he makes people laugh. He makes people entertained. But nobody's looking for that when they come into this game. People are looking for entertainment through gameplay, through story, through whatever they're going to provide with this video game. Nobody is investing into this game. Nobody is going to play this game because Dr. Disrespect said some funny crap in it. No, it needs to be a good title. So, coming out and trying to perform as it's all jokes and games, it's not going to give anybody a serious mindset when they see this game, and they're just going to think it's an absolute meme. And with all honesty, how you guys are putting it right now, that is what everybody is thinking of. Look at the gameplay in front of you guys. Again, this is extra early on. We're only in the firing range, but I don't even think I want to see anything past the firing range. If this is what Dr. Disrespect considers to be the ultimate COD competition, I mean, he said with his own words, blows out anything from COD Engine. This doesn't even blow out Call of Duty Mobile. Mobile! Call of Duty Mobile! 
puts this game in the dirt when it comes to everything mechanics, animations, and graphics. Call of Duty Mobile is 10 times better. I don't know what game he's talking about. I don't know what page he is on right now. But this right here sure as hell isn't better than Call of Duty. And it's sad because I want it to be better than Call of Duty. You know, I'm not trying to defend COD in any type of way. I'm tired of how Call of Duty is treating their fans. But I'm a realistic person here. If he's going to claim it's better than something else, he better have something to back it up to prove his point. And I will go ahead and give a few positive things to say because I don't want this video to be all negative and it doesn't deserve to be all negative. Like I said, the only negativity is coming from Dr. Disrespect doing the false hype. You know, the, that's ridiculous, especially when this game is all about NFTs and all this bullcrap. You know, it just seems so scummy the way he's handling the situation and a lot of people are getting that rubbed off on them as well. But if I were to never see Dr. Disrespect say anything about this game of the past, if I knew there was never NFTs within this game... And he just went ahead and released this extra, 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 extra early footage. And that's what he claims it is. If he goes ahead and says, hey guys, we're extremely stupidly early on. We're nowhere close to being anywhere, you know, competitive with any other games. But this is what we're working with. I would have looked at this and said, you know what? This is actually not half bad. You know, it, it definitely looks like it needs more work. But between, you know, the map, the layout, the atmosphere, the cosmetics, I can definitely see a potential future for this game. It looks neat. And especially on top of that, it's an extraction type game mode. So that means this open city that you're looking out into more than likely is going to be where you are roaming around, looting, and trying to, you know, stack up your soldier. Now, I believe it's described as the first vertical extraction game mode. I don't know what the hell a vertical extraction game mode is compared to a regular extraction game mode. So I guess with time, we'll see what that one additional word means to this, you know, the same game mode that we've seen multiple times played over. But at the end of the day, I am very pleased that he's not taking a bad battle royale approach. I actually made a video about this a little while ago where I discussed my main concerns about this and that is this game becoming another battle royale. I'm tired of them. The marketplace is oversaturated and we need something fresh and having a new extraction game mode honestly is not half bad. So far still to this date Escape from Tarkov is one of the only and main extraction game modes you could play. Of course there's other stuff out there like uh, the Cycle Frontier and I believe there's another one as well but with all honesty none of them compared to the popularity of Escape from Tarkov. There is yet to be another development team that could truly take that atmosphere and put it to a more mainstream title for the mass majority of people to enjoy. So, obviously, Dr. Disrespect has tons of potential here to go ahead and put out a very solid fire project. But again, the way he is handling it is completely off. Despite all the positives I can see, I don't like his attitude towards the project. I personally just think it's a difference between being hired as a personality hired from a game like Fortnite, Apex, COD, or Battlefield, and telling Dr. Disrespect to come in with his personality and play the game. That, to me, is a massive difference compared to being the face behind this game. You know, he's not a hired personality. He's not someone coming on to hype up this game. No, this is his game. He is the one funding this project. So he's looked at differently in this scenario. He's not looked as a content creator anymore. He's not looked at as a hype beast. No, he's looked at by a head developer's viewpoint. He is the top dog of this game. And even though he has hired a ton of goats, he still has to keep his personality in check when it comes to professionalism over his title. Because if he doesn't, then guess what? He's going to lose all of the trust and the faith of his fans. His fans might enjoy him goofing off and messing around. But when it comes to people actually spending their money on a project, they want to be sure that the people backing it up are serious about the project as well. And they're not thinking of it as an overall joke. You know, we've seen this over and over again. Battlefield 2042 is the best example I could possibly think of. Oh, this game is so far ahead of schedule. It's turning out absolutely fantastic. The game comes out. It's one of the worst Battlefield games ever launched to date. It's horrifying. You can't trust the words of these publishers, and sadly, it seems like you can't trust the words of these individual, you know, independent developers as well. I don't know. I guess the only people who are ever going to be trustworthy are going to be strictly indie development teams. You know, people who are starting with absolutely zero funding, zero cash, the smallest possible team you could think of, and they're putting together projects out of passion. Because those are the only people who truly care about the feelings of their fans, the feelings of their audience. Because even someone like Dr. Disrespect, like I said, who's an individual, he's not a publisher, he's still, in my personal opinion, 
has one main goal in mind, and that is to make money off of this. And that's, you know, regardless if he has to hype up the game, talk it up, even if it's in its worst state possible, that's all he's going to do. He won't admit that the game is going to turn out bad, because if he admits that, then nobody's going to buy the game, and he's not going to make money, you know, and any developer, they don't think that way. They want the game to turn out good, and they'll gladly take as much time as they need until the game turns out good. But Dr. Disrespect, he's the type of person that would gladly rush this game out in a heartbeat just to get a quick buck. I don't want to believe that. I really don't. But the way that he's advertising it so far, regardless if it's personality or not, I'm not a fan of that. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Bums, I hate it. Leave a dislike. Also, for brand new and the content, don't forget to subscribe and that bell location button. Also, want to chat with me, this do we do so. I have Twitter and Discord, both down in the description. And also, want to catch me live streams of video games, join on Twitch. That's in the description as well. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.